while an outpouring of support is bolstering an Endicott family whose infant son was born with cancer. Wyatt Plew was born on October 9th and immediately rushed to Krauss Hospital in Syracuse because ultrasound images showed he had neuroblastoma tumors on his liver and adrenal gland. He was subsequently transferred to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, or CHOP, where he underwent a round of chemotherapy at nine days old and weighing only seven pounds. Wyatt's parents, Tyler and Katrina Plew, have been spending all of their time at CHOP, while Wyatt is in the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, or NICU. Recent tests showed that the chemo shrunk the tumors. However, Wyatt's grandmother, Eileen Konechny, says there have been several setbacks, including high blood sugar and cardiac arrest. He's back in NICU. You know, he gets out, and then he's back in NICU. And it is just the most emotional roller coaster that we've been on. While Katrina is still on maternity leave from her nursing job at UHS, Tyler has not been working as a SUNY Broome public safety officer long enough to qualify for paid family leave. To help cover their expenses, friends and family are throwing a Wishes for Wyatt fundraiser on Saturday at 1 p.m. at the Vestal American Legion on Jensen Road. There will be 200 baskets to raffle, a silent auction, and live music by Mark and Nino and The Dude and the Damned plus a full pasta and chicken parm dinner donated by the Lynx at Hiawatha, where Tyler once worked. Tickets are $10. Kids three and under are free. There is also a GoFundMe page that has raised over $26,000 for the family. You can find a link at BinghamtonHomePage.com.